Hey guys, uh, today we are taking a look at Connecting Flights, a game by Rafa Daywood. Daywood. Um, by, looks like the game is, uh, publisher is Be Bezit Games. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, it is a 1 to 5 gamer um, game with a 12 plus age rating in a 60 to 150 minute time. This is what the back of the box looks like. <coughs> and each one of the sides, that's what we normally do. Like the branding on every one of the corners, which is good because that allows you to store the box. It doesn't matter how you store it, you can still have that writing or that branding on it. So you know what the game is um, rule book i love the front cover of it reminiscent of old school uh, flight information so that's the rule book that's the back of it uh, we are looking at 14 pages uh, overview uh, making flights and stuff like that flight examples competitive mode I believe this game has a competitive mode and it has a, um, a mode where you work together. Game structure, events, auctions, marketplace, <clears throat> fly setup, taxes, sabotage, interested in knowing that. In round, how the game ends. And this is the co cooperative mode that we were talking about. I heard this game is better as a. Uh, I think it's a competitive. I can't remember right now. Uh, we'll have to take a look at both. But anyways, that's the rule book. Uh, this uh, basically just gives you an overview of the content. Of what's in the box. And some flight examples, which is nice. Nice and handy. All right. This is the game board. We'll put that aside. Take a look at that in a second. This is also part of the game board, but we'll take a look at that in a second. So you get 35 of these um, few truck tokens. Uh, your generic uh, thickness on those. Hopefully you can see it. That's what it looks like up close. That's that side. And that's the other side. And it looks like they have different uh, markings on it, like a fuel level, so you can see. Now all of them are the same. You get, uh, like I said, 35 of those. You see they're popping out clean, so no issues there. 35 of those. You get... 30 of these meeples. They're all different colors. Seems to be plastic. I think they're plastic. Yeah. You get 40 of this airport token or meeples markers. That's what they look like up close. Nothing on the other side, just one sided. So you get 40 of those. Then you get three planes. I'll take all of this out. And that's what they look like. Nice little planes, which is cool. All of them seem to be the same material. I think they're wooden though. You get, let's see, because we have a good amount of cards here. Okay, so this part of the cards, uh, I figure I'll show it to you and split them out like that because it's just going to be easier. 
uh, to tell you what we got if we do it this way. Anyways, so we got 35 of this airport landing right cards, right? And that's what they look like, the double sided. And we got 35 of them, okay? And we'll go through them real quick so you can see them all more or less. So you got, you know, on them, you got the country, uh, location, I guess, type of economy, a type of flight, so an econ economy arrival. And then if you split them, if you turn them around, then you got a different, same country, I think it is. Yeah, same country, um, still economy arrival. It seems to be the airport. Okay, so you got multiple of those. 35 to be precise you got 33 of these passenger cards this gives you a, the person on the right the passenger and basically what they're trying to fly from okay there you go you get a bunch of them All right, so passenger cards, you got 26 of these plane cards. Twenty six of those seems to be split in between uh, Spartan Air for the most part frequent flyer and Lux jet <clears throat> so these are planes let's go here these are electric planes you get four of those oops sorry a little too high there you get uh, let's see there is 10 of these player cards basically look like passports starting budget and then a special ability occupation date of birth and uh, name and information rank it on the bottom as well as you can see and they all look the same on the back <clears throat> ten of those you get six of the secret identity cards aircraft collector use only ones you get a task and a reward a banker environmentalist hangler mafioso regional manager six of the secret identity card low passenger demand um, so these are the passenger demands you get one two three four five six of those you get um, 13 of this departure airports <clears throat> You get 17 of the event cards, and they do have different marks on the back. So you got a stage three event, and you got stage two event. <coughs> fuel trunk, fuel truck discount. All fuel trucks can be purchased at a five coin discount. A marketplace, no sabotage. And you got multiple of those, low cost flight, market shakeup, marketing campaign, Pandemic, raw diversification, diversification, tax rates, trade war, and so forth. They all look to be different. You get nine of these sabotage cards, contaminated food, corporate lawsuit. Let's take a look at one of them. Uh, let's see. The target player must 
either pay 15 coins compensation or discard one of the passengers to the bottom of the passenger deck. Someone spoiled your in-flight meals. And that would be terrible. So you get a bunch of those. You get, uh, what was it, nine of those? Strike, stolen luggage. All right, and these are the sabotage cards. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these passenger, high passenger demands. Okay. And then you get one, two, three, four, five of this, I guess, a, a system, assistive uh, cards. They just help you with your play, um, order of, the, uh, of, of your play. Uh, first, I guess you, we haven't played this at all. We haven't read the rule book yet, but um, let's go through this. Uh, you got event, auction, marketplace, fly, granting taxes, sabotage, and around. Remember to use your probabilities in secret identity so so you got that order or play tips and then order or play on the other side depending on the mode you're going to be playing and you get five of those all right so those are the cards now let's take a look at the board you get this hopefully uh, let's flip it around so you can see it. hold on let me move these cards out of the way So that's what this looks like. Passenger demand per stage. Order a play down here. Few trucks. Departure airport. Low passenger demand. High passenger demand. Marketplace. Okay, shorter flights. And this is uh, when you're playing together. And this is the competitive mode. A few trucks on here, order a play, auction section, income, airplane income, grant and taxes. Yeah, so that's that section. And here, we got the board, and this is interesting because you got this set up, and the board does look beautiful. Love the colors on it and stuff like that. You got your tracker on the outside, game progress, the stages, and the different cities. Very colorful, looks nice. And then, seems to me the same as the other setup, but a more uh, compact uh, setup here or section. This is great, this is a great idea. So if you don't have a lot of space on your table, you can play with this setup and if you do have a lot of space then you can open it up and play like this all right so that is connecting flights this is the first video of a three-part video second video will be player setup how you're going to set it up for a two-player game and then the third video will be an explanation of how the game works all right i'll see you on the next one and just keep an eye on the channel and uh We'll see you guys soon.